Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's me I'd receive and I'm here to make a guide for Apex Legends now. And I've been playing this game quite a bit and I'll pull up my stats on sites in a bit. But I've been playing this game quite a bit and I'm pretty much addicted to it right now. So <laughs> it's best to make a guide of the things I've learned and I'm still learning in the game. So first of all, in this video I want to con talk about the recoil pattern of the game. Like how to control the recoil and what you should do <clears throat> to actually control it better. So I'm gonna go over all of the weapons and I'm gonna show the recoil and ways to control it. And sometimes you don't even need to control the recoil because of how good the gun is. So this is the and this is the carbine, the R301. This is literally my favorite for assault rifles. And if I don't have this, then I'll either use this, the flatline, or or the hemlock from time to time, but I prefer to use the auto because the hemlock sometimes is just inaccurate over ranges. So this gun, when you aim down sights, has a recoil of this. As you can see, I aim down, the gun pulls up to the left, pulls up to the right hand side, sorry, and then in a curved fashion goes from up here to here. So for the recoil control, you pull down slightly. Pull down slightly and go left. Making the gun pinpoint accurate. Still holding your accuracy and being effective as possible. This gun, this gun is one of the things you're going to be using the most. Like, I would always recommend having this gun in your inventory no matter what. Because the carbines, uh, carbine, the, this carbine is one of the best in my opinion. So, again, pulling out from the sides just a tiny bit aim for the recoil. So, that's the first gun. The scout, of course, has literally no recoil. All your aim and not the SMG this thing is a bit more interesting this is a, just has a lot of upwards kick to it as you can see like a bit curved to the right but that nothing to be compensated for because you're gonna be trying to aim at your moving target anyway so you're not gonna be compensating for that so to aim with this just simply pull down and hold your trigger easy as that but also this thing has a huge spread this gun has a huge spread, so you have to be careful whenever using it over long ranges. <clears throat> so I would recommend you burst fire with it to get the maximum potential out of this gun. Now for one of my favorite guns. This is another favorite of mine. I prefer this over any shotgun in the game just because of how godly its DPS is. The R99. So if I aim down sights, the recoil is going to be like... A huge kick so it starts off slow and then it just kicks up really hard so when you're aiming at someone go for this and only start compensating for recoil once the gun hits around there like you can see around 10 bullets the gun just kicks upwards heavily so first eight bullets is fine then compensate for the recoil at like 10 bullets making you pinpoint accurate and your recoil is still very much controlled, giving you an edge over the opponents. The reason why I prefer this over the shotguns because shotguns are very inconsistent. Even in Fortnite, I rarely ever like shotguns because look. It's hit here, right? The Peacekeeper is actually a very strong shotgun, but very inconsistent. Like you can see, I aimed at that target and it was 35 damage, and then I aimed at this target, it was 45. It makes no sense. It's very weird how the shotguns work, but if you ever are to use shotguns, always take the Peacekeeper. The EVA is not good. This thing is utterly garbage. I immediately drop it as soon as I find it in the game. So always remember those. <clears throat> and now for the le uh, and now let's go towards the next ones. I'm sorry, I got off track and went to the other ones first. So first of all, we did that. We did the carbine and this pistol. I will rarely ever use it, but I like the skin of this though. Got lucky with the skin drop. And anyways, this pistol, never use it. It's utterly garbage, only use it at the very beginning. Nothing to show about this one. And now for this thing's recoil, 
it's like a downwards like it was a slight curve it literally curves towards the right hand side so to compensate you curve towards the bottom left hand side like this slightly curving towards the bottom left hand side will make you perfectly point accurate like, like you can see i'm gonna be curving to this perfectly accurate that's that will cover most of the light smgs and that covers that and now let's move on to the heavier weaponry so flatline my next most favorite gun other than the carbine so this thing's recoil is a curved fish so it will move from here then here then here then here this thing's compensating for the recoil is not as necessary like as you can see it's pretty accurate as it is so you really don't need to do much but if you are like me and you want to compensate for the recoil always just go down and just shift a bit to the left just a tiny bit to the left and then you need to shift to the right that's why i'm telling you like hold it in bursts for the first 10 rounds pull it down then burst fire it again 10 rounds, pull down sights, and then burst. But most of the time, you don't need to even uh, compensate for the recoil. Just, you can just pull down, and it's gonna be good. And done. For the first 10 bullets, and then you can just... First 10 bullets, gone, then fire again. It's a lot better that way, and you can actually aim... Like, let's say a moving target is going... a lot better that way. So if a moving target is going from this direction to this direction, you can compensate for the recoil and then shoot them from constantly. For example, like if I'm moving like this, I'm compensating for the recoil and I'm burst firing instead of constantly holding my trigger. Makes it a lot easier to aim and will compensate for the recoil as well. I said compensate way too many times, I should put a compensate marker on this. Mm. And now for the Prowler. Prowler, in my eyes, <clears throat> I hate burst weapons in general. I prefer the Hemlock over the Prowler any day, but still, a lot of people like this gun, so... For the Prowler, it's a 5-shot weapon burst, so I can see, and see, it's like, first 3 shots are accurate, and then it kicks up for the first, uh, last 2. So, first 3 shots, and I would say just compensate for the recoil from the first shot anyway. It's like, first three shots, hard pull. First three shots, hard pull. First three shots, hard pull. That's how you compensate recoil for the Prowler. And honestly, the Prowler in my eyes is just not that strong of a gun. A lot of people like it, but I don't. Yeah, this is my personal preference. But still, as you can see, that's how you control the recoil for that. Longbow, sniper rifle, no recoil of course. recall for this so you'll be fine wingman i absolutely love this gun this gun in my eyes is just so much potential for frag montages and such i once got like um, a random kill from like 200 meters away it was so much fun anyways that covers all the recall patterns for this gun and of course this gun has no recoil, but just a huge kick. So just compensate for that kick. Now for the energy weapons. These things kick like a goddamn mule. As you can see. These things kick like a damn mule. When it comes to recoil patterns. For the first two bullets, it's just gonna be flying everywhere. So you need to hard hard compensate for this so that the accuracy can actually wind up. So you have to always hard compensate for the first few bullets and then the accuracy will wind up heavily and then you can start spraying. Spraying for your enemy. So again, the first few bullets, pull, uh, you're gonna get pulled up and then the accuracy goes back to normal like the flatline and all the other guns. So, you pull down, wait, I don't know. First few bullets you pull down, and then you hold it. Easiest thing. Sniper rifle for the triple take, so 
No, when I kill this, I'm not fine. And now for sh uh, back to shotguns, like now for the legendary weapons. Sniper rifles, of course, they have no no drop. They have no recoil at all. The sniper rifle just has. This feels weird. I need to play with this sniper rifle some more to actually get used to this. So that's all the way. I think about this shotgun. I don't know why. I would say this, I would prefer to take the peacekeeper over the shotgun. I don't know why. It's just my personal preference. The shotgun is nice. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes, as I said, shotguns are to me are so inconsistent that I barely ever want to use them. Just look at the peacekeeper. This thing has a higher DPS. And it can still kill pretty quickly. And now let's compare it to this gun over here. See? The gun is still nice, but the peacekeeper is just, I don't know, better in comparison, I feel like. But never mind, never mind. It's not better actually. Anyways, if you get this gun, you can actually take it, but I feel like you need to be uh, you need to be kind of lucky with this. If you are a very lucky person, then by all means go for this gun. But I would always prefer to take this. I don't know why the SMG, like you can see the amount of damage you can pull off with this gun. So I would prefer the R99 over the shotguns anyway. Anyways, that will cover this video on the recoil patterns. I'm thinking of making an attachments video, but honestly, considering how hard it is gonna be to even find attachments, I'm kind of being lazy on that. But if you guys do want to see an attachment video, then just tell me. I'll make the attachments video whenever it's possible. But let's see what happens, and hopefully this video is kind of well received. I know the recoil in this game is not that much, but it's something to compensate for. If you don't compensate for the recoil, sometimes you just find yourself dying for no apparent reason, and it's just more and more difficult. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.